morning and welcome to another day of daily devotions from Manitowoc Cooperative Ministry, where we are the heart of the lakeshore. I'm Pastor Matt Sauer. Today in this week of our Lenten journey, we're looking at the symbol of coins as a way to understand and deepen our relationship with God. Today we turn to Luke chapter 21 and we read this verse. Jesus looked up and saw rich people putting their gifts into the treasury. Now we also saw a poor widow put in two small copper coins. Wow. Now if we had to read the rest of this, Jesus praises that those two minuscule copper coins more so than all the money that the rich the rich folk have put in clearly her two pennies we might as well call them aren't going to balance the budget they're not going to pay the pastor's salary they're not going to pay for snow removal they're not going to restore the stained glass windows or repair the organ or buy new supplies for sunday school but yet jesus says those two pennies are more important to God than all the other riches. Now, often we turn to this during stewardship time, and we look at it as a, as a way to say, look how generous this woman is. But I want to take a little different tack. What if Jesus isn't just lifting up the generosity of this woman, but also condemning the practice that would extort two pennies, all that a woman has? just in order to say, you have to give something to say you love God. Isn't that offering that treasury in the church for people like her? Isn't that what it's intended to be? Is this idea that the poor widow has to give everything that she has a condemnation on the culture, the religious practices that says money is so important to us? that even the poor must be kept in poverty just so that we can have what we have. In our culture, we live in many circumstances like that. For those who are in need and they receive public assistance, it's so quick to change. If they get a job then that, that pays them this much, then their assistance takes it down that much, and they're still earning only the same amount. Never an idea to say, let's let them have both for a year to catch up, to get ahead. Sometimes the church does the same thing. We know that those who are the busiest, those who are often stretched the thinnest, are the same ones that we go to because we know that they will say yes. When do we hear Jesus' words as a condemnation? that people shouldn't have to give two small coins all that they have in order to survive. Whenever you use your money this week, think about that. Let's pray. Jesus, we gather around you and ask to hear what you want to teach us today. Who do you want us to notice? What do you want us to do about those right now who have nothing to live on? Help us to give faithfully, no matter if we have only two small coins or a large bank account. Let us see both rich and poor through your eyes and with your compassion. Amen. Remember, you are loved, you are worthy, and you were created to be a blessing. So go and be a blessing today in any way that you can. Have an awesome day.